first official use, first official use of the waders. Don't come here to expect them to go inside unless you're extremely prepared. Right, we're going in. Again, holes in the middle. The oxygen level outside at zero to 100 meters above sea level should be 20.9. And the oxygen reading right now is. We've got to be going down there. No, surely not. Went over the third collapse and started hyperventilating. Right, so you've seen the title of the video. Um, and yes, you do indeed join us on our search for two tunnels. Now, because you lot are lovely people, you often concern yourselves over our um, health in terms of when we go inside these old tunnels. Today we're in search of the Grinkle Mines, the Grinkle Tram Road, uh, which went down to Port Mulgrave on the coast, just over there, the northeast coast of England in northeast Yorkshire. Um, and we're going to have a look for um, one of the most dangerous tram road tunnels still in existence today, uh, based on its um, oxygen levels, that sort of thing. So we've put a lot of safety gear in the gun. We've also managed to nick one of these. And we'll come to that in a short while. But for the meantime, you join us on the search for the first of the two tunnels. Problem number one of the day is, this is the pathway. This is the public footpath down the bottom of the hill, which is where we want to go. Um, I'm now waist deep in brambles, literally thick brambles. We have to turn back and either go that way or that way, or try and find another way down the hill. So we're hoping pathway number two, attempt number two, to get to the southern entrance of Ridge Lane Tunnel will be a little bit more successful. We're quite away from the tunnel now, whereas we were just above it. Bit frustrating. Um, so this tramway started its life as just a port and just a mine down by the coast at Port Mulgrave. Um, 1850, 1854, they built a ironstone mine into the cliff face. So if you can imagine there was a little harbour and they built a, a mine into the cliff face. We'll show you that in a bit because that's part of the second tunnel. Um, then as things became depleted, ironstone became depleted, they decided to mine inland, a Grinkle mine, which I think they started about 1870-ish. To do that, they needed to build two tunnels to get to the mine. Um, the first of which was closest to Grinkle mine, that's 400 yards long, straight line, we should be able to see inside it and get inside it. The second of which is almost a mile long. So a mile long tram road with the junction inside it, built quite late in terms of tunnelling, so 1870s, 1875 maybe, uh, but nevertheless, um, this is the one which has caused people problems um, in modern times in looking for it. Uh, we shall come to those reasons shortly, two different reasons why it's considered now deadly and why we may well need one of these. So there's an old tunnel there, which is the Ridge Lane Tunnel. Uh, back this way beyond, down there on the embankment, um, takes us to Port Mulgrove and the Port Mulgrove Tunnel. I'm just going to so film you going in. Okay. Right, we're going in. Southern entrance. Helmet. By the look of things, I'm going to need the waders. Okay, first problem we've got is half a foot or a foot of water. Don't know how deep the silt is, but we'll give that a go. And then it gets better and better from there onwards. Fairly hard, despite looking quite boggy. You've got what looks like an old sleeper. Um, a couple of pins there. Okay, brick lined on its roof and masonry halfway down the sides. Right, 
right, what's really strange. <clears throat> so where I'm stood now, all very sort of hard, almost cemented, like the mud's actually cemented. And then you get bits like this ahead of us where you can see what looks down there to be like sleepers, but also a little bit deeper water. So being very careful underfoot. Okay, so we're probably 100 yards in now and there is the second refuge. Because this tunnel was probably built about 1874-ish, um, my guess is they were obviously very well versed in building tunnels. This tunnel itself was probably built to a very good standard um, in terms of safety, although safety wasn't a big thing. It still had very regular uh, refuges. Okay, a little gas experiment. We're not quite halfway. I'd say we're probably a third the way in. Um, and I'm going to try a little gas meter. Now I'm sure in here the air is completely fine. Um, but we've got a five gas meter and I thought it would be quite interesting to try it. So the oxygen level outside at zero to 100 meters above sea level should be 20.9. And the oxygen reading right now is 20.9. Okay, so I realise we don't want to be the other side of the tunnel, um, so we're going to head back out to the side that Rebecca is waiting at, um, and we're going to take our gas meter and we're going to head over to Port Mulgrove. So, going to Ridge Lane Tunnel, tick. Um, we're not going to go the other side, there's loads more culverts and bits and pieces the other side, mine working. Four o'clock in the afternoon, we want to get over to the end of this line, or the start of this line, at Port Mulgrave. Ridge Lane Tunnel tick, really interesting. We're going to now head back down the line itself, towards the coast, to the Port Mulgrave site, the harbour. Really interesting stuff there, but also we're going to have a look at the deadly mine. Um, ready? So we made it to Port Mulgrave, which I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Having seen all these different reports on these tunnels and uh, bits and pieces. So we're now clambering down the side of the cliff. I read yesterday some TripAdvisor reports and there were people who were giving this random historic port two stars. <laughs> My children didn't like it here. It's like, dude, this is like a historic place. You're not here for your like four year old kid to enjoy it. It's not like an adventure park. No. It's a historic piece of, you know, it's your your local history. Yeah, and it's like two stars. <laughs> Would not recommend. It's like, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> Camera and steps, probably not the best idea in the world. Probably not. Um, Oh, look at the little bench. This is so cool. Oh God, we're going down there? No. Surely not. Good do, but we've got all the equipment, right? That's really steep. I mean, there's a lovely rope, which I assume is fine and strong, but that's like... <laughs> I'm sure I read there was some steps somewhere. Right, what's that? Okay, I'm going that way. Let's go that way and hope there's... <laughs> No wonder that guy gave this two stars on his um, trip advice. <laughs> So, there are two tunnels here that go into the hillside. They are, you enter them via one portal. Now that one portal, you go inside it, you climb over what is already the first collapse, and then you have two more portals. The portal on the left is a the original ironstone mine, built in probably 1850, 1855, thereabouts, until um, <clears throat> the ironstone became quite depleted here. So they built the second tunnel, and they built that immediately adjacent to um, the original uh, mine tunnel. So you go inside the first portal and you have two tunnel entrances. One of them is a mile long uh, tramway tunnel with tracking and all sorts but it's incredibly dangerous because it does have at least four or five collapses. It also has a junction inside it and I think only one person has ever got to that junction. Uh, on account of the fact that it's extremely dangerous because of the quality of air. We'll come to the quality of air in a second. And right above us is the actual tunnel, just up there. But, um, hopefully we can get to it. 
This is probably the wrong way, but you know. That is the only way down, you're having a giggle. Wow. Bad news. Yeah, big time. Someone, I mean, someone's tried to, someone's tried to saw through that. Last reports online well, that it wasn't locked, so a little bit guide. We brought oxygen meeting through there. So inside this tunnel, there's two tunnels. You can't see because you've got a clap straight away. Beyond that, you've got left-hand tunnel, uh, which is now the old original mine. Right-hand tunnel, which goes right the way up to where we were with the original tunnel, about a mile inland. That's got collapses all the way along it. The reason why if you ever come here and you do get inside you need to be exceptionally careful the reason why you need to do that is because of the low oxygen levels so somebody online who we've been chatting to went over the third collapse and started hyperventilating realized the mistake he'd made didn't take the right precautions admitted his mistake uh, got out as quick as he can somebody else said went in there after and found the oxygen levels were in single digit figures so don't come here to expect them to go inside unless you're extremely prepared. We've got everything we need in the bag. We've got five gas detectors, including the obviously O2. Um, so I don't want to sort of advertise this, but people are going to come here because there's loads of this online and we explore. So I kind of feel we've got a responsibility to say, don't come here because it is genuinely deadly in terms of the collapse possibility, the landslip possibility, and of course the air quality. You don't know how bad the air is until it's too late, literally too late. disappointed we were prepared helmet waders air quality meter three torches and we couldn't get in the tunnel we wanted to it was incredibly difficult to get to because halfway up that cliff side mm -hmm. um i mean yeah we were going to try and sort of get in and do a bit of you know monitor of the, of the gas levels and the, and the i was <laughs> um but we can't which is kind of disappointing but also pleasing that they have actually locked it and bolted mm. it shut um so yeah we're going to sort of highlight the dangers of going in some of these places um not that we're experts but we're sort of well, learning we're knowledgeable enough to yeah. know that there are, there can be dangers yeah. in these sort of things so, so the yeah. first tunnel was great because we realized actually air quality for a normal tunnel like that mm. is absolutely fine we know that one's got lots of collapses and it's not brick lined until you get quite far in so there's all sorts of reasons why the gas and the air isn't good in there mm. um but yeah probably quite possibly one of the most dangerous tunnels that we haven't gone into <laughs> <laughs> there we go right hope you enjoyed a little little explore we've done today um from the north east coast of um north east yorkshire obviously <laughs>